Hey, what's happening guys? Yeah, I'm losing my voice. That's what happens when you give lectures three days a week. Eventually your voice goes, but it'll come back, so no worries. Anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to look at some very basic input-output with the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to use the Python programming slash scripting language. So all we've got to do is press a button, turn the LED on, press it again, turn the LED off. The wiring is simple. We have the pin from the Raspberry Pi going to the anode of the LED, 270 ohm resistor from the cathode to ground. We have our button initialized with a pull up, so we are just connect we are shorting it to ground when you press the button. So we have a ground connection from the Pi, an LED connection, and a button connection. Now if you look over here, there's the LED uh, Raspberry Pi pinout. And we're using pins 9 for ground, 11 for our LED, and 12 for our button. So, let's go take a look at how we're going to set up this code. Now, i got to apologize to you. I have no way to capture the screen that my Raspberry Pi is on. So, we're using the camera. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, so we've written our code in Python. So if we bring our mouse cursor up here to the Raspberry Pi doohickey in the corner and go to programming and Python 3, it's going to bring up this Python shell. Do not write your code in the Python shell. Don't ask me how I know that. It took me an hour to figure it out. You want to write your code in this window, like the Python text editor window. I'm sure somebody knows what it's called and they'll tell me damn Linux okay so our first line here is just giving it a path to the Python our second line is we're getting the GPIO library so that we can use the pins and the third line is we're getting the time library so we can time things we're declaring LED pin as 11 and button pin as 12 and we're starting off our LED status with an initial one so in our setup here our setup function we have GPIO set mode GPIO board what that means is it's going to use the physical pin numbers on the board GPIO setup LED pin GPIO out so LED pin, which is pin 11, is now set as an output. GPIO setup, button pin, GPIO in, pull up, pull down, GPIO, pull up. So what that's doing is it's setting pin 12 as an input and putting a pull up resistor on it. And then we have the GPIO LED pin, GPIO high. We're beginning the program by turning on the LED or turning off the LED. Next, we have a function called switch LED with an argument of EV equals none. So we have global LED status, LED status equals not LED status. So it's just switching them back and forth. GPIO output LED pin, which is 11 LED status. If LED status equals one, print LED off, else print LED on. We have our loop down here. GPIO add event detect. This is where we're looking for that button. G uh, event detect button pin, that's pin 12. And we're looking for the falling edge. Our callback is the switch LED function. And we have a bounce time so it doesn't happen a whole bunch while true we'll wait um 
was that 100 milliseconds, I think, or no, one second. Those are seconds, I think, yeah. Then we have our destroy function, which turns everything off and cleans up. And then we have this little declaration here, if name underscore, or if underscore name underscore equals main program, start from here. Then you can set it, I mean, save it wherever you want. I just saved it where the Python um, games are. And one other thing, if you have a problem running the Python, let's see if it remembers all these. Um, there's a code you can put in here, and it's right here. And I'll, I'll link to it down below so you don't have to remember, but sudo ln tac s slash home metlin slash python slash python 3.5.3 slash bin slash python 3.3 space slash user slash bin slash python 3.3.5 that will add um, python to the default path so that it can be run so all we need to do now is run this module and we do have a warning, but it's no big deal. Let's go take a look at the Pi. All right, so our Python script is running. LED is lit. We press the button, the LED goes off. Press it again, the LED goes back on. So I hope that gives you just a basic taste of how IO works with the Raspberry Pi. It is not completely dissimilar to how it works with the Arduino but of course the difference is Python and the C++ bastardization that is the Arduino programming language but the concepts are still the same you have to address your pins you have to set their states and you need to use pull up or pull down resistors if you don't want a floating state so that's it hope you guys enjoyed if you did give me a thumbs up I'm out Peace.